Hi, this is Altil, and this is going to be a guide for enfranchised fighting game players to quickly pick up Pokemon Close Combat. You'll have to know numpad notation and such, but it's up on the right just in case. So, this is a three-button fighter. The controls are hybrid, so they're not classic or modern necessarily. They are A button is for normals, B button is for specials, and C button is for various things. That's a parry, for example. So, normals are... 5A, 2A, 4A, 6A on all characters. You also get a JA and a jumping attack that is either up or down, depending on the character. For Blaziken, it's up. Uh, you also have a 3A, which is notable because it's your sweep. For specials, all characters have a 5B, a 6B, a 2B, and a JB. A lot of characters also have a 4B that modifies their 5B slightly, but Blaziken doesn't. But I figured it would be good to mention. For the C button, we saw the parry already, but it also can be do. You can also hold forward while close to throw, and backward while close to back throw. The main functionality is parry, which you can do to parry, counter, and attack. You could also backdash after it, or forward dash after it, which is usually preferable to help you get a punish. Now about meter. If you're observant, you would have seen my meter going up during the previous segment, but it wasn't going up in the usual fashion, not in little tiny bits. It was going up in huge chunks. That's because meter in this game is a little unusual. You get a meter whenever you do certain actions. In this case, it was having my opponent hit the floor after a sweep. This is important, because if you cancel your sweep, you don't get it. You can also get meter by doing a throw, by doing a parry counter, notably a parry counter, forward dash and back dash out of parry won't do it. There's also one more method to gain meter we'll go over later. Earlier I mentioned we had a hybrid input system. That's where this comes in. Hi metered moves in this game, called hyper moves, typically use motion inputs to be used. These motion inputs are on the character select screen for each character. For example, Blaziken's are a dragon punch, a quarter circle back, a half circle forward for his super, and a double tap. We have back forward charge, down up charge, double quarter circle forward, and a couple others in here, but nothing too crazy. Let's talk a little bit about system mechanics. You might have noticed this pink bar at the bottom of the screen. That's your endurance bar. It'll basically go down whenever you block. Weak attacks don't reduce it, but basically any strong attack will. Your bar only goes back up when you get thrown or knocked down, basically. So you can't really rebuild it. As you see, no matter how much time I sit here, it doesn't tick back up. This means the game has to go at a pretty blistering pace. Because if you keep blocking, eventually your guard's going to get broken. In training mode, you can see Wobbuffet uses a number rather than a bar, so you can get exact values on how much endurance damage is being dealt. As you can see, Wobbuffet refreshed three endurance, but he did it twice. Once because I threw him, and another because it knocked down. Most throws knock down, but not all of them. For example, because Blaziken's forward throw doesn't knock down, he's only back up to 12 endurance rather than 15. You also consume the bar by parrying. You can keep parrying until your endurance is down to nothing. At that point, you're going to get guard broken the next time you block. Guard breaking rewards the opponent a meter and an opportunity to hit you, so you really do not want this to happen. The C button can let you also do cancels. These are called C cancels. These only cost one bar to do, but they actually require you to have two stocked to use. So for example, because I had two bars there, I could do it. But if you looked at my inputs, I pressed the C button and nothing happened. You can also use meter defensively. If you press all three attacking buttons while blocking, you'll do a guard burst. As you can see, this cost a meter, put Wobbuffet on the other side of the screen, and also regained a little bit of endurance. This is one of the few ways you can do this. This last bit isn't a core mechanic as much as it is a nice thing to know, so there is armor in this game. And it is broken by... sweeps? 
or uppercuts. <laughs> All right, that is most of what you'll need to get started in Pokemon Close Combat. Thank you for watching. See you next time.